Hey guys, Mike here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we pour a garage floor in 17 minutes. Now this floor is a 24 by 24 foot garage. It's four inches thick. We got about eight yards of concrete here. We're going to get this thing down and both loaded in 17 minutes. So let me know. Let me know if you can pour a garage floor like that. Or if it takes you a little bit more time to pour a garage floor down in the comments, guys. And again, if, if you're new to this channel, we pour concrete every day. And if you like that kind of stuff, you know, go ahead down there and hit subscribe. If, also, if you like these kind of videos, please smash that like button, guys. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. So, as you can see, we got started here and we decided that the concrete was just a little bit too dry for us. And we wanted to give it a little drink, so he's adding a little bit of water. Now, I always use water reducer in my mixes, so we can we can pour about a 6 or 7 inch slump. And it doesn't affect the strength in it because of that water reducer. That's a chemical that allows you to pour the concrete a little bit wetter without affecting the strength. So, we're looking for right around a 6 and a half, 7 inch slump here to get this thing poured. Now, we're working for... There's Darren and Luke there in the black. I'm in behind there. I'm, I'm, I'm on the phone, um, as usual. And we're working for that guy right there in the orange hat, Jim. He did the foundation, so he's the one that, that specced what kind of concrete we're using, uh, what kind of reinforcement we're using, which is fiber mesh today. So I got a, we got a 3,500 PSI mix. We got fiber mesh in it. We're also using warm water. It's about 35 degrees out this morning when we started pouring this. So we got warm water in the mix. We got some some calcium accelerator in it also. And here we go. We're going to start pouring this thing. So when I set out to do this, you know, when, when we first started videoing this, I didn't really plan on making a video about pouring a garage floor in 17 minutes. Uh, otherwise, I would have been right in there helping. But uh, after we got it done, I thought I just thought it would be a good idea to show you guys how, you know, a, a small crew can lay down a floor really fast if you know everybody knows what they're doing and nobody re really needs to tell anybody what to do. So Darren and Luca just are just leveling that stuff out, getting it as close as they can to grade by eye. We got a red chalk line snapped around the inside of the foundation for floor grade. You know, four inches up off the dirt. So, Darren and Luke are real good rakers. They got good eyes. So, they're going to get it really close just by raking it around like that. And then, I'm going to get the edges mag so we can straight edge off that wet pad around the edge. Now, that metal stake you see right in the middle has a nail through it. And that nail is right exactly at top of concrete floor. So, we shot that with a laser. You can kind of see my laser set up there, right on the left. And we just put that in there, so it would just give us something, something to go by as we're laying the concrete down here. <clears throat> Usually I'm the guy running the chute, but luckily Jim decided to step in and just grab the chute for us, so that helped us out a little bit. We like pouring out on a garage like this, you know, probably almost 90% of it first before we stop and start speeding. So we're going to get most of this poured right out and we'll leave a little bit empty right at the end just in case we do get it high. We want some place to pull the extra mud into. You can see how nice and easy that concrete flows with that water reducer. That really helps speed things up. The water temperature today, when they batched the truck, the water temperature was about 100 degrees. Uh, the truck had to drive about an hour to get to the job here. And by the time you mixed up, the concrete temperature was about 70 degrees. So it's, it's kind of warm concrete for this time of year, which is really going to help the setting time, along with the, the calcium we put in it. See how them guys go from one side to the other with that sheet, get it raked right down. Back and forth, back and forth. I 
Now, Darren, he's been doing this for, I don't know, over 25 years probably. And Luke, Luke's getting close to 20 years, been doing it for me. So they both really know what they're doing. They, they could actually just pour this themselves. They didn't really need me or Jim here. I'll send them on their jobs all the time to pour stuff, which makes it really convenient. This garage has a two inch slope to it. Slopes from the back towards the front two inches. So right now I'm gonna mag a pad, a wet pad in the concrete, right even with that nail we got through there. Then I'll pull that stake out and then that's what we'll use to screed by. Just a little bit high around that state so now that now that we got the grade mag there that gives the guys something to go by in the middle so Luke's gonna jump over there and start magging some edges and then I'm gonna finish magging down that one side well Darren what Darren's doing we call that tuning in so he's tuning in the concrete as close as he can get it after the edges are magged and then we have that middle pad so it gives them something a little bit better to go by. So like I said if we were if we were gonna time ourselves like if we set out to say okay how fast can we pour this garage floor <laughs> we'd probably be hustling a little bit faster. Um, but that wasn't my intention. But I just wanted to show you guys, you know, a garage floor can be poured pretty quick and the concrete company's gonna love you if you can dump that truck out and get him washing down in, you know, between 15 and 20 minutes. Then they're gonna wanna keep pouring with you and give you good service. We're just gonna kick screed this because it has such a slope to it. We're not gonna use the power screed here today. You get to see the process of kick screeding. That's about a 12 foot, 12 foot rod there too. We like those magnesium two by four screeds. Those are really light. I've had those for years. these tools we use so I'm using a, a concrete come along what we call that the guys are using the screed we got the bowl float we got our, our you know the hand tools are the mag float we got the margin trial in our back pocket all those tools are down in the description guys if you want to check them out if you want to use the same stuff we do you can just click on that and it'll take you right to where we get them well, that's one bay we call each section a bay, so we basically have like four bays here we're going to screed. We're on the second one. You can see how in sync we are when we screed like that. That's how you get it really level when two guys are on the exact same page as, as far as they're screeding. So that's half the garage screeded right there. That took us just a little over a minute to do that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn that around and just strike a pad across where that doorway is. We always set the door forms to grade, but then we always check it with the screed just in case there's a little a bow in the board or a dip or a hump. We just want to make sure it's perfectly level across where the garage door sits. Now 
Now you can see why we like pouring out a lot of concrete at first. It doesn't really take us long to get it screeded once we get it all the edges mag. Screeding is probably actually one of the quicker things. You can see how that kicking's done. You just pick your pick your boot up, kick a little bit of mud in where your boot came out, and just keep moving backwards. It's pretty efficient and pretty fast. I guess the key is if you're not if you don't do it a lot, just making sure you're not digging in with a straight edge or leaving a hump behind. That's that's the part you got to get used to. That's what takes a little bit of time. We'll pour about as much more concrete in there as we think we need to fill that and not be too high. We don't want to, we really don't have to shovel any out and put it in the driveway. So try to get it as close as we can to perfect, but not be too high. I'd rather have to add a little bit more in than shovel it out and make a mess. These guys, the concrete company hasn't start charging for hot water yet. They usually start charging us. We live in Maine around November 15th. They'll start charging for the hot water about five or six bucks a yard. Let me know, let me know when your company starts charging and about how much more they add to, for hot water in your mix. That's another thing that's handy is when all the guys on the crew can screed. It doesn't really matter who grabs what. You just grab the screed and go. After this, we got just the bow floating left. We'll get it bow floated, and then it'll be nice and smooth. Now, I I stayed and finished. I stayed and power trial this myself on this pour. That'll be on a separate video, but I just wanted to show you guys how fast we can be to pour a garage floor, even when we're not trying to be fast. I want to hear from you guys down in the comments if you think you're as fast as us, if you're faster than us, or not as fast as us. And let me know how many guys you got on the crew, too. I guess if I had a little bit bigger bull float, it would have made this part a little bit faster, huh? That's a four foot bull float with the rounded edges. I'm using that new Pro Tilt head on it too. That thing's really smooth. That that came from Superior. Those are the same people that have the mag vibe. If you want to check that out. So that, that Pro Tilt head works really, really nice. You can see how when you pour a slump that has water reducer in it that's like a six and a half or a seven, you only really need to run the bull float you know, down and back and it's nice and smooth. That speeds up your pour quite a bit, not having to go over everything two or three times.
Those are the two trucks in the background that we use the most too. I got, you can see we got shoots. I got a 16 foot shoot on mine. The guys have about a 12 foot shoot on theirs. They carry most of the pouring and finishing tools on their truck because I'm usually the one going and setting up jobs most of the time. I'll come out with a video real soon of like the setup, you know, what's in the toolboxes and how we have all the, the tools on the truck and everything for you guys. So you can just check that out. And for those of you guys who want to see that, that'll be great. If you don't, then I guess you don't have to watch that video. <laughs> I'm not hurrying when I'm bull floating. I'm taking my time. I'm making sure that everything looks really nice. I'm not, I don't want to leave any big lines behind. That's one good thing about that bull float with the rounded edges. It doesn't really leave lines. Even when the concrete's a little bit looser, the, the lines are minimum, which makes it a lot easier to finish. A square bull float is going to dig in a little bit on each side and, and leave some pretty deep bull float lines. Yeah, 17 minutes and 7 seconds is when we got done according to the video, so 17 minute garage floor pour guys, so let me know down in the comments if you think we're fast or not, again thanks for watching, if you haven't subscribed yet please hit subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll catch you on the next one.